So here we are talking about the Brabster Maestro, and this is the flagship Brab bike, you know. We've put six years of development into this thing. This is the what we regard as the best mini motocross bike of this type in the world, and you know, we do so many things to make sure we are the best at what we do, and I started Brab six years ago with the dream to, to build a bike that could compete with the American bikes would be affordable to all my mates, and this is what we came up with. This is the top of the range. This is the Rolls Royce of pit bike. I want to show you a few of the features of the Brat bike and why we consider it to be the best bike of this type in the world. And We'll go into the manufacturing process later, but the actual features of this bike. Firstly, the reason why I ride a Brabster Maestro is it looks sick. It's got all the wank factor in the world from the full frame, the finish on the frame, the metals we use are absolutely sick. All the triple clamps, everything's bling bling. Anodized, of course. So, all right, you get to choose between red anodizing, green anodizing, gold anodized, black anodized or obviously silver as well. So you can make this thing look however you want. You also get to choose any colored plastics and any sticker kit. So you can bling this thing up and make it look however you want. You customize it to your liking. All right, we'll start from the back of the bike and on the Brabster Maestro, we obviously have disc brakes and here in the, we have CNC chain blocks, we have a CNC uh, master cylinder carrier, the hubs are CNC, we have oversized hubs and axles, 15 mil axles and oversized hubs to make the wheels stronger, the spokes stay tighter and obviously the bike lasts longer with less maintenance. For 2010, we actually just updated our rear hub. Instead of having a three-piece hub, it's now a one-piece hub. So it's eliminated so many bolts coming loose and about eight bolts you don't have to check anymore. So it makes the bike last a lot longer and a lot stronger and a lot less maintenance. All right, so I want to talk the rear brake pedal, obviously CNC. Um, it's adjustable back here with the brake pedal so you can get the feel right. We've got CNC kick starters, CNC dipsticks, we've got the heat shield so you don't burn your leg on the exhaust pipe and we've got a rubber plug cap on the 2010 Maestro which means that the spark plug cap not only lasts longer but it performs better especially in the water. On the Brabster Maestro we have a billet chain guide um, and it comes with a 39 tooth rear sprocket standard. We also have a Teflon chain roller which makes a chain roller last a lot longer. I want to speak to you guys about the suspension on the Brabster Maestro now. One of the main points, one of the main reasons why I ride a Brabster Maestro is because not only does the thing look sick, but I can adjust the suspension so it handles however I want it for any track. I can make the suspension as hard as I want, as soft as I want, as fast as I want, or as slow as I want. So if you don't like the suspension on your Brabster Maestro, you only have to click a few clicks or change some oil levels. If you ever feel We've got the top of the range muffler on the Maestro. It's got the anodized end cap with all the oversized exhaust pipe. It sounds sick, it performs well and lasts a long time. All right, the 150cc Brabster Maestro comes with a KLX style head and the reason for that is there's so many hot ups available for this engine and the 2010 model is absolutely sick. We've played with the gearbox spacings to make the gearbox last longer. We've adjusted the kickstarter shaft to make the kickstarter shaft stronger. The things last a lot longer and going so much harder and we have so many kick ass hot ups available for this thing. We've got the CNC engine dress up kit, We've got the oil cooler, four up gearbox, four speed manual. All right, now it's really hard to see right here, but I'll show you in two minutes. This, in the 2010 Brabster Maestro, we've built an airbox onto the, and a spark arrestor onto the back of the carby. This makes the bike, well the, the bike suck less water, less dust, and no chance of a fire. So it's really safe and really cool. It's a good invention by us, and it makes it easy for you to change your air filter over because you don't have to get your hands in an airbox. It's actually an airbox that goes onto the end of the carby, similar to a air, normal air filter would anyway. The 150cc Maestro also has an oversized carby. 
On the Maestro, you choose between three different engines, a 125cc engine, a 140cc engine, or a 150cc engine with the KLX style head. All right, so the difference between each engine is the 125cc is a lot smoother power curve. It's still got decent power, but it's a lot smoother power curve, which makes it a lot better for learner riders or novice riders. So the 140cc engine has a very similar power curve to the 125, just the difference is it's got a few extra cubes, so it's going to have more horsepower um, and still be a smooth power curve. So it's still good for novice riders, but it's going to benefit the better rider who wants to bash through the bush and race around the tracks as well. All right, so the 150cc is the flagship bike. That's what I race in Las Vegas. That's the bike with the most power. When you have a 150cc engine in a 70 kilo bike, it is awesome. It's like a BMX on steroids. And the thing with all our engines is we design them here in Australia. So we do metal testing to prove the quality of the materials they use in the engines. But also we've adjusted the spacings in the gearboxes. We've adjusted the Kickstarter shaft gearing to make the thing last a lot longer as well. Because what we've found with a lot of our opposition companies is that they're bolting bigger top ends on but not adjusting or reinforcing the bottom end so we've tried to counteract that and make sure that we can we can make our bikes hold up to the hot ups we're putting on them so for example we've just launched the 200 cc hot up kit so my goal for a long time has been the to be the first mass reduced pit bike to launch a 200 cc pit bike and here we are The Brat Maestro runs a front fork built by the DNM factory. The internals of the fork, however, are designed and tested by our suspension technician in Tasmania, Ken Belbin. On the top here, we have fully adjustable rebounds, so you can make the front fork perform as fast as you want or as slow as you want. And also on the bottom, we have compression, so you can make it as firm or as soft as you like. This is a new airbox we've designed for the Brabs de Maestro and like I said one of the benefits of it is it works similar to a normal air filter so it still bolts onto the end of the end of the car be like an air filter so you can remove it and pull it apart on your workbench rather than having to work on it while it's on the bike like a normal airbox. One of the main benefits of it is it's got a spark arrestor which means there's no chance on really really hot days that your bike could backfire and catch a light um, and also it's got less surface area for you to get water on it. So on wet days, this thing's gonna be awesome.